from the offensive line's perspective? I was just kind of put all the, the concepts of our game plan together and uh, Coach Palmall and Coach Klim put together a great game plan and we just got to go out there and execute and just focus on our technique and getting better each day. Was there any kind of breakdown that was um, that you can kind of put your finger on that uh, has been a theme or is it just kind of like a one-time thing? Or? Uh, just a one-time thing. They did a lot of stunts and a lot of stuff up front, but that shouldn't be a problem. And we uh, just got to go out there and execute and have a great game. Did they, um, Coach obviously went with one kind of featured tailback in that game. Is that matter for the offensive line as far as can you build chemistry with the running back or is it just you know you do your job and then whoever's running does the rest? Well, you can always build chemistry with the running back but we have th three four great backs that can get back there and run the ball and oh we're not always looking back to see who's behind us when we're blocking but uh, I know whoever's back there is going to run hard and hit the holes and uh, is going to do a great job. You guys I think I don't think you gave up a sack last week um, um, but I think before that you'd given up 10 in the first four games. Was that uh, a point of emphasis going in that last game? And, and how would you kind of rate the job you guys have done in that area? Well, each week it's a point of emphasis. And uh, every week we want to uh, go attack the game plan as to giving up no sacks. And I just feel like we really emphasized in practice and worked hard and uh, gotten better the past two weeks. How did you think Andre James did when Colton went down? Oh, he, he did uh, great. I was real happy for him. He came in and stepped up and uh, did a great job. If Colton isn't, I guess, ready to go on Saturday, what does Andre James bring to that offensive line unit? He just brings, he's just the uh, next man up. He's going to bring his power and athletic ability, and he knows that he's going to prepare like he's starting, whether Colton's back or not. And I know he'll, he'll bring it and have a great game. What can you, I guess, say to him uh, in terms of being ready or kind of being mentally prepared to, to play and start? Uh, just tell him to relax and take deep breaths and just treat it as a normal game, even though he's never started one, but just to not overthink it and just be under control and go out there and have fun. A ASU is known to blitz quite a bit, one of the mm -hmm. more blitz-happy teams in the country. How does that challenge, like, from a communication standpoint for you guys? We just got to... Uh, ASU does blitz a lot and they bring a lot of different stunts but just got to really take our time up front and uh, communicate and just have go through as many looks as possible and I know Coach Clem and Coach Palomalo will give us concepts and go over and give us the looks and practice each day this week and they'll have us ready and we'll uh, be, be ready for it. You got to do the Players Tribune thing with Josh, how did, you, how did that go? Oh, that was awesome. That was a cool experience. I've never had an interview like that where we're kind of just talking between the two of us, but I let him do a lot of the talking. It was, <laughs> but uh, it was a fun experience, and uh, I was happy I was able to be a part of it. So you still got to work on it with the country music, huh? I know. I, was, <laughs> I try every day. And half the time I think he just says it to make me mad or make me sad. But I think deep down he truly does like it. But... I remember him saying he liked Zach Brown when I brought him, Zach Brown band, but other than that, maybe, nope. Maybe get some uh, going with the uh, practice soundtrack out there. Maybe that will help. Uh, definitely. <laughs> Who picks that, the soundtrack for practice? I've been asked a couple of times for some advice on songs, but I, I'm not too picky because it's just background noise. But I, I, I think some of the coaches have put it together. It's been a consistent playlist for the past couple of years. Get tired of it? Some days. <laughs> it gets a little old, but then again, it's, it's, I like it. It's a, good, it's a good soundtrack. What was working for you guys? Just It seemed like in the, in the second half, it was just everything was going just so much better in the offense. How did you guys turn around? We just really uh, came together and said we, we got to put it together and just play together. And uh, we found run plays that we – we were executing well and stuck with those, and we spent uh, struggled a little bit the first half, and but really uh, figured out what they were doing and just came together and executed the second half and just played a lot better. I think Josh said he's just at a point where he can just say screw it and let's go play. Exactly, that's <laughs> literally what we had to do in the locker room and say screw it, let's go play, and that's what we did. And the second half was a lot better. Does it does it feel like the offense is just at that point now? You can get past that overthinking part. You've had five games of this new offense. It's not new anymore. You guys can just go play football like the way you know, know how to play. 
Oh, definitely. It's, it's definitely where you're at that point where you can get past it and just have that mindset of let's just go out there and have fun and play and play the ability that we're, we know we are capable of and just break out. Five games into the season, how would you evaluate your performance and where can you improve going forward? Well, I can always improve tremendously, just always focus on my technique and getting better each week and just growing and not uh, settling for if I have a good game or not and just get better each week. Your parents, I think, come to almost every game. Every game. Literally every game? Every game. Wow. They, they try to. Is that how? What is that like for you? Especially when they have to like. Uh, I mean, they they come from Nashville, right? Mm -hmm. So they're yes, they're basically making like cross country flights uh, every week. They're used to traveling for work a lot, but that's tremendous support, and I can't thank them enough. They're the best. They come to whether it's in Pullman or Washington State, or uh, they they like the games that are closer to back east. Like when we were at Virginia, that was an <laughs> easy trip for them. Do you, are you able to spend any time with them um, before or after the game, or? I, I see them after the game and. Depending on how late the game is, we'll grab dinner, and depending on when they leave Sunday, we'll have some time to spend together. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.